Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, I've been on a kick making gift tags. I think this is just such a great idea. I'm, I'm a big gift wrapper to begin with, so I like to, you know, the time that I spend on picking out the right gift wrap paper and the ribbon that matches with it, of course it makes sense to make personalized gift tags. <laughs> so what I like about these, I'm incorporating a couple of cool ideas here. So this one is happy birthday, right? It's a lot of letters. So I also like using glitter iron-on, so HTV, like your heat transfer vinyl. So what we normally put on a t-shirt, you iron it on. I like to iron it on to cardstock. And it gives like this nice, um, this nice little texture on top. It just feels and looks very expensive. So it's on glitter card, glitter cardstock, and then you have glitter HTV on top. And so it's really stable too, because it's on um, the glitter cardstock. So think of it like a cake topper that you would make. So it's super stable. We put a little hook on it, and then you can you can do anything. You could do any words. You could do happy birthday, congrats, uh, happy day, love you. I did that, and I also did this one, which I love. It's an ice cream cone. So normally this ice cream cone, I'm gonna try to see if you can see it really up close. This is something that I would typically put on a cake topper. Oops, I just dropped it. <laughs> so it has lots of layers, it's lots of pretty colors, and then we just make this little hook to go on it. So let's, so you can kind of see this is the end of my project here. So I had congrats, I had happy birthday, and I had merry merry. You, what you need to do though is you need to create an offset. So I'm gonna show you in Inkscape how to do one, and then we'll go back into Design Space and I'll show you how to make the circles. All right, so let's go into Inkscape. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on your text and I'm going to do, um, I don't even remember what font I used, but I'll just do one and then that way I can show you. So I'm gonna pick one of my favorite fonts. This is Hannah Berry Koo. <clears throat> it's really cute. So you wanna make your text box and then I'm gonna put just hello. Okay, so click outside here, go to your arrow and you wanna lock the word so that way when we make it bigger, it grows bigger proportionately both in height and width. So I wanna make it really big so you can see it, right? I mean, this would be a really cute tag as well, right? Like if you're just giving a gift just because. And I feel like when you do these gift tags, one, your gift stands out and people are gonna know who it's from. But on the back side, if you see, there is enough space for you to do a to and a from. So it's everything cool. All right, so here's hello, right? Um, so click in the white area because right now hello is selected. So we want to basically not have it selected. So there it's gone, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to hit the paint bucket, click any color because we'll fix it in design space. So I'm going to pick this blue and do your offset depending on what you want to do. If you want a more streamlined look, I would do an offset of 10 or 20. If you want to do um, more of a background, then I would do 30. But in this case, I'm just gonna do 20 so you can see what it looks like, okay? So click anywhere on the word. I'm gonna click right here, and there's our offset. That's that's it. Now, if you wanted to do a triple layer, we can do that here. So click the arrow, click in the white space, paint box or paint bucket, click a different color, and then we'll do an offset of 40. <clears throat> and then again, click here. So we have our offset of 20 and 40, right? So I, I love this. All right, so click the arrow. You're gonna grab everything, okay? So take your mouse and grab everything and you see how it has multiple layers. <clears throat> you wanna go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. So I'm gonna save this as hello offset. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take a drink, sorry, this, It's like something stuck in my throat. All right, 
let's go into design space. I'll do it right here as well. So we're gonna go to upload, upload image, and you have to remember browse, find your file. So I think I saved it in desktop and it was called, hello, there, hello offset. Click save <clears throat> and then select it here and we're gonna insert the image into our project. <clears throat> All right, so we have it over here. Go to ungroup. So now you can see how many layers you want. Um, so here's our first layer. The thing that I notice here are these little slits, right? I would just go to contour and I would hide all. I would even get rid of the, the space right here in the E and the space in between the L. If this is my third layer, I kind of, I think it looks fine like that and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So on this one, arrange center to the front so that I can put it on top so that you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> so you can see, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think this little space right here and here would make a difference. And sometimes it actually looks a little weird. So let me go back and I'm gonna put back those, those cutouts. So we want this back and we want this back. And you can tell me if it's more distracting or not. See, like it kind of looks, it makes it look like there's, I don't know, there, there's something about it that I, I don't like, but this is personal preference. Your, the sturdiness of your gift tag is gonna be there because you're basically having two layers of cardstock. So I wouldn't worry about that, but I just don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna go back, click contour, and I'm gonna hide all. Okay, so there's that layer. And then this last layer, what you wanna do is, you see how it's individual? You wanna make sure you weld it. So that way it's one solid piece and there's no cutouts. And then this one will go on top. So if you remember, we did a 20 and a 40 offset. So it's up to you if you want that many layers. Your bottom layer is the one that's gonna have this little hook, okay? So my top layer, because I like to use um, my glitter iron-on, um, I like to do it in black, and I like the way the black and the white looks. So I don't know if you can, how well you can see it, but if that's the case, then let's do our blue and change it to white. And then the last layer, the pink layer, I did one and I don't have it anymore, but I did a gold shimmer paper and you're not really gonna be able to see it on here how well it looks, but I love the way this looks. All right, so let's build our little circle thing, okay? Um, so you're going to take a circle and then you're going to duplicate the circle and make one that's smaller. And I'm really just eyeballing this, okay? Because we can fix it if we don't like it. Grab your two circles and I grabbed more than the circles. So let's grab the circles, hit the shift key, grab the second circle and go to align center and then slice. So now we have the hole that we need so we can get rid of that. We don't need those two little circles. And then we're gonna make this obviously smaller and proportionate to our hello. Right now, I don't even know how big hello is. Hello looks very big in comparison to my other tags that are already sized, right? So don't worry about how big this is. Make sure that it's proportionate to your hello because then we'll shrink it all together at one time. So you wanna make sure this is connected to the brown or the gold. So grab your circle, hit your shift key and grab the, the back layer here. <clears throat> and weld it, okay? And then just select it and arrange send to the back. And there's your gift tag. So if we're sizing it though, make sure you grab all three. Um, so far I've liked it about five inches long. It's really sturdy. It fits, um, it fits well on large, medium, and even small, because if, if you do it on small, 
I would just do thinner ribbon and then this size is okay. But here you go, that's it. That's literally all you do. And there you have your gift tag. So you can do this, just think about adding that circle to anything. So even this little ice cream thing, that's an ice cream image from here. So let's, I'll show you right now. <laughs> let's go into images, select ice, or type in ice cream. Okay, let me try to find it because it's such a cute ice cream cone. Um, and it has the layers, which I love. So let's scroll down until we see it. This is also a very cute ice cream. I've done this one as well. Um, where are you? Um, oh my goodness, where are you little ice cream cone? I didn't think I scrolled down this far to get the ice cream cone. This looks kind of similar. Um, this one's really cute as well. I don't know what to think right now. I don't remember scrolling down this far, but I must have. <clears throat> I hope you guys at home aren't saying, you already passed it. I think I did because what is all this stuff? Okay. I'm going to go back up and it's probably going to be right at the top. Okay. I'm going back up to the top. I'm going to go a little bit slower. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. It's right here in the third row. I made some changes to it. That's why I didn't recognize it. Okay, so let's look at this one, insert the image, and I'm gonna show you the one that I ended up with. So you can see the colors are totally different, right? Um, yeah, that's why. So, and I added sprinkles. So let's just change a little bit so you can see what I did. Um, so you can click on the different layers here, and I made that layer pink and I made this top layer purple oh no I made this purple and then I made this brown outline instead of brown I made it lime <laughs> And not only that, it's glitter cardstock, so it's so cute. But same thing, I should have saved that circle. Right, you wanna get your circle, you wanna duplicate the circle so that you have the inner one. You're gonna make it much smaller. Okay, grab the two circles and align center, and then slice. That's gonna give you that hollowed out circle. And we can get rid of these two things that we don't need from the slicing. And just delete it. Okay, so this is clearly too big compared to my ice cream, right? So just make it smaller. And put it somewhere like that, right? So if you like it like that, we have this selected. Hit your shift key, grab your green layer and weld and then just click on your green layer and send it to the back arrange send to the back just so visually you can you can um see what it would look like and that's basically this i made this gigantic because i wanted you to be able to see it on the video i would normally not make this hole that big but it's nice because in the back you can write like i said to and from so these are just a great way to do it if you don't like the, the additional layers, just do two layers. And that's totally fine, like what I did here. Um, and that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have your own special request. I'm here to help. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.